on with you there uh, back in uh, line. Yeah, a little bit of a Whitmer's update since yeah. obviously last week was because it was the fourth and the holiday. We just obviously nope. didn't get on do anything because it was holiday week, essentially. Because it was, again, a weird holiday where for some reason the fourth on Tuesday. It's like, what do you do about that? <clears throat> Especially if you're like somebody who like there's a bunch of people. And I don't know if you were this way, too, where you Ooh. worked that Monday and then you're off to Tuesday. It's like it was this weird kind of thing there. But yeah, that's why we were off last week. But in terms yeah. of what I did. So one thing and I texted you while you were in the middle of it uh, a week ago. So last Monday. Uh, I went out golfing with uh, that's right, Mitch, my dad, and Mitch's roommate, uh, which was uh, always it's always a fun time with us whenever we go out. The only issue, well, I uh, mm-hmm. unfortunately lo- I've unfortunately lost in terms in terms of the four of us, um, but my overall game because we hadn't golfed in a year, a little over a year. Oh wow! We only went out one time last year. Yeah, and we want to get out. We want to try to get out there more this year in terms of golfing. Um, Let me know when I, you're available. Yeah, right. Uh, that's why I texted you in the in the middle. I was like, we, I need to go mini golfing. So yes, <laughs> because in my I was doing very well in terms of my drives were okay. They may not have gotten like the height or maybe not necessarily the distance, but they were good enough. Because in previous times I've gone out, I shank them left the whole time, yeah. and I'm I'm left pretty much every hole going where I hit it, where I hit it. It's in a rough somewhere, where I hit it, but I hit it fairly uh, I'm, I'm straight right the whole entire okay. time, which is pretty great, nice. except for hole two. On the second hole, I don't know what happened. Okay, I, I guess it was the wind, and t- Mitch in his room had the it? same. It was the wind. It had the same thought because I shot it. It was my. It was my best shot in terms of getting up in the air, yeah. um, but mm. it went high and then it veamed left and went right into the woods. Like, where? Oh, oh. See, not not getting that one back. No. Yeah, but we just went Yikes. to uh, Angleside. Just oh, nice. Yeah, Angleside's a good spot. Yes, it's it was okay. <laughs> All right, well, all right, let me rephrase. So here, it's a good spot for people like us. Yeah, people like us who aren't good. That's where it's good. That's why it's yeah. great um, and that aspect. But the maintenance in some of the holes and everything is not the best. Hole two in I, particular, I there's a nice little pond just right in the middle of it. It's full of geese, full of geese shit, just all m- murky. And every green almost every green had like little like uh holes almost like it it was like drying out so i don't know if it was because early on in the summer even though it's been so, raining so a little more to be clear it's not like actual divots in the grass not divots like, from what people did it's like actual like almost like it's drying out again i don't weird. know if it's because of like a drought kind of thing or what or just not great upkeep no idea but because of that, I, my, again, my guess is I will take, bad up. I will a hundred percent take take blame for myself in terms of me sucking in uh, yeah. on my putting game. Because again, like I was, I kind of got off topic from when I first was talking. Because again, <laughs> I did okay on the drive front. My irons were the best. I I did the best of my irons I think I've yeah. ever done in terms of getting it on the green in like maybe two or three shots, and even chipping. I hit into the bunker here and there, close to a bunker. My chipping was great. Where I struggled was putting. I had many holes. I don't know how you do it, but we always go um, double par in terms of on a hole. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was a couple of times I unfortunately had to do that just because. And like I said about the greens, and that's kind of maybe some reason why I struggled as well. Right. Because some of it would be like very dry. So you feel like you have to hit it harder because it wasn't going far enough. Yep. Or there was some where it was kind of dry, but wet at the same time. So it, I couldn't get a good enough uh, routine in terms of hitting the ball hard enough. Either hit it too hard or not yeah, hard enough. Or you hit it too soft. And <laughs> because of that, I just always screwed up in the green. I could have done a lot better. I think I got like a 110 or something like that. So I will Which say to me, greens, it, it's 110 may not sound, sound good to anyone yeah. who's a that's, freaking that's golfer. But to me, that's that was one of my better good. games in terms of Dude, golfing. That's, that's we like, all, I, I, yeah. my dad was the closest to not uh, to 
getting under 100. I think he had like nice. 104 or something like that. Okay. Mitch was right behind him. Um, and then me and his uh, old roommate, his best friend, uh, pretty much the whole 18, it was great because we yeah. pretty much battled for who's who was going to take third and who's going to yeah. get last. And he just yeah. had a great uh, chip and then a great uh, putt. Just a, he, a strong he won, finish, yeah, yeah, he won by one stroke. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, no, so I will say about reading greens and everything, especially like it's one of those things where certain places you go to when there's the putting green and everything like that, you can only get so much of a feel for the, how the greens actually are. See if it's going to run fast, if it's going to run slow, or just yeah. like, absolutely perfect. Um, but like once you're out there, then it's like, okay, then you get an idea. But then at the same time, you got to worry about any hills. You got to worry about any bumps, any other little dips, you know? So it, it's it's very tricky. Putting is very tough at that part. Yeah. I will say but that's, that's why, the, again, there's probably going to be somebody who listens to this as they say, you know, going to top golf or mini golf, it's not the yeah. same as putting or driving or whatever, but I don't care. To me, I feel better if I go mini golfing. I feel like I'm practicing my putting. It's more fun. Yeah, it's exactly. more fun. Because yeah, I literally texted, right. I was, it was pretty much, definitely, I was thinking it was maybe hole 10 or 11 when I texted you. Like, I, uh, we need to go out mini golfing because I'm, I was struggling that much with my putting. Right. I was like, I need to practice yeah. this. And normally my dad and I will be that be that way with like driving just because mm. we don't go off out that often. So we're always like, we should right. hit the driving range before we do it just so we have a better feel for how Absolutely. we're going to do everything. Yeah. It's yeah, still a no, fun time. You know, we grabbed a couple um, beers before warm we... up with. Okay. Okay. Oh, before I like it. We were Thanks. going to, as our tradition usually is, we get a couple of beers and we usually halfway through. Um, light up some, some cigars as well. Um, nice. The only thing go. that sucked was we only had one lighter, and it was my dad's, and it wasn't working. We only got <laughs> one to light, one cigar to light, and it was my brother's roommate, which is actually great for him too, because we only went to Ingleside because it kind of worked best for all of us. And he yeah. lives literally in the apartments at Ingleside. He lives at four six. For those who don't know, the way it works in terms of. Uh, like the first like five holes and the like hole eighteen are on like one side. Mm-hmm. Then you pass like a parking lot, the parking lot of the the golf course, and then there's an apartment, and then there's like hole six there. He gotcha. lives in okay. those apartments right across the parking lot. That's pretty nice. Right at hole six. So at hole two, it was this is where it was even better because hole two we were kind of getting kind of hungry or whatever hole two or three because we hadn't got because we went out like. Or two times like 10, 12, something like that. Yeah. And by like whole two or three, we're like, hey, let's. Uh, Mitch said, do you want to get a little guava or something or something delivered? Because his apartment was like right there. We could get it like delivered from like DoorDash or whatever. I was like, sure. So by the time we get the whole six, it's it was there, it was ready. That's so awesome. 